Hey, greetings everyone and welcome to Trenton 365 and I'm Jacques Howard, the host and creator of this and it's over WIMG 1300 and other locations, but WIMG 1300 is the first radio station to have the program, so I am forever grateful to the organization, to the station, um, to the outlet, to the Gazzara family, and also to my friend who's going to be coming on next to talk to me, who is responsible for me even getting into this. Without any hesitation, I'm bringing on Vini Stansberry. Hey, girl. Uh, I'm responsible for the monster of Jacques. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, you what are. in the world? <laughs> now, here's the question. I would love to know the folks who think that's a good thing and the ones who don't think it's such a good <laughs> thing and have them look at it. So listen, you from the time that I first met you, your personality, your spirit, everything was like this. It took me longer to open up to you than it is for you to open up to me. But um, let, let's just talk about how you allow just whatever it is that's welling up in you to come out in this loving, friendly, sisterly kind of way? I don't know. I'm being honest. I think I've, I've been like this since forever. And <laughs> in high school, they're like, Dede is everybody's mom. Like she's just, she is so motherly. And they always had an adjective in front of that, right? There was always that adjective, but um, they, it's just always been in my nature. Um, I guess God did it that way because he knows the trauma that I went through in my life and growing up. So he understands, he understood that he needed to give me something that would push me. Um, and he just did. I, I don't know where it, it comes from. Even here at the station, like I have people that are my age and I'm, I still <laughs> act like I'm everybody mom. I, and because I love to laugh, I just feel that when you are, comfortable at work you will do better work so I do I know who to do what jokes with who to be slick with how to be slick and uh, and then I don't get angry when it come back because if you know the group that works here they they give it just as well as they receive it you know I uh, just like today I had on lipstick and and Mr. Ruth said you actually look good in that, really. <laughs> actually, like I don't look good any other time. I actually look good in this lipstick, right? But the other day he had on a suit. He had on like a nice outfit. I'm like, you look nice. Where you going? He's like, really? Like I only look nice today? Like, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, that that's part of the family uh, at WIMG. Can you talk a little bit about the uh, about the family, where the station came from, um, the atmosphere of the family still, et cetera? Because I think it's good for people to know that. And then I want to transition and talk a bit more about the business side of it. So uh, it actually starts with the business side. Uh, I've been here for 19 years. And that has not always been the atmosphere. I know on Sundays when I work with Miss Evelyn, I, her and I felt like family. So we would make sure we had Sunday covered. Either she was doing it or she wasn't doing it. And uh, so it started with uh, that. But once Maggie asked me to uh, become the office manager, I was actually mad at the job that I was at because they kept, um, I guess it's for my attribute, but as well as it wasn't. So I worked at a daycare and I won't mention the daycare's name, uh, but I did everything I needed to become a head teacher. And I love working with the children, especially three and four year olds. They were my favorite to work with. And as an assistant, I kept saying, well, you know what, let me go um, because I want to become a head teacher. I don't want to stay here. 
And they had me in four different rooms. Three actually was my room, the the room up under me. So that mine was three year olds. The transition room was uh, two. You were between two and three, and then you had the preschoolers who were four. And because the difficult children, I was able to talk to them and be with them and make them feel love. Like one of my favorite students ever is Riley. And Riley was a handful, right? Um, but when she would, when I would come over there, she didn't want to go to sleep. So I would never force her, but I would talk to her about being on her cot. So I would allow her to sit next to me and talk to her. So she got to the point where she didn't want to be in that class anymore. And her parents had to fight to move her up to my class. And they said, well, if they don't mind. So I was like, of course I don't mind because that's my little Riley. And she actually like, she would feel good every time she come in a room. I would be like, N- you don't have on that gorgeous dress, Riley. Not, <laughs> not, not Riley walking in here like that. And so when she got dressed, she would tell her parents, you know, um, watch, Miss Vini going to say this. And one day I didn't come to work. She cried to go back home. So I've always had that loving, just want to make everybody feel good. Mm-hmm. So when uh, they didn't want me to become a head teacher, but they wanted me to stay as an assistant because they still wanted me to deal with all of those children from the different classes, they told me that it would be beneficial for them to keep me as an assistant. Well, at back then, an assistant was only making twelve. I was making ten dollars an hour if I was making that, and the head teachers were making sixteen. Big difference. So they wasn't willing to give me head teacher salary, and so I wasn't willing to stay. And Maggie asked me, well, what about being the office manager here? Would you like that? And I'm like, what? She said, yeah, I want you to be in charge of this um, and with me and her. And I'm like, "Mm." so I prayed and I'm like, Lord, look, I don't know nothing about running a radio station. I don't know. She's already going through hard times right now. And I don't mean financially. And I'm going to be coming in a mess. Like, what do you want me to do? And he said, take the job and trust me. Mm. And I took the job. Um, I remember Maggie telling me, she said, you won't have this, unfortunately, Beanie, you will not be able, may not be here for a year. I'm being honest about our finances. And the Holy Spirit said, Mm-mm. you're going to anoint every door. You're going to anoint every microphone. You're going to anoint the phones. And you are just going to cover this place. And that's what happened. And every step of the way, the Lord just led me. Um, the city of Trenton forgot about us. They they didn't want to deal. Um, so many people felt like they were being robbed by us. Uh, we didn't have many listeners. And that right there was the key. Um, I was like, Lord, you, you got to turn this thing around. And he did. He slowly, uh, within that first three months, I reached out to everyone that was still with us to let them know who I was. And, you know, we, and most of them worked with me anyway, because at that point I was already here for, well, I'm going on 19 years now. So I'm, oh, I'm going in 10 years as the office manager. So I had already been working with people for nine years. So they, they knew me and they knew my personality. And from there, the Lord, that, that's for real. People think it's a joke, but he told me every little thing, like even how to fix stuff that I had no idea how to fix it and how to bring back the relationship. So when I, I pick up that phone, I'm like, okay, God, you got this conversation. And he would guide the conversation. And to God be the glory, 10 years later, when she didn't think we were going to make one, we're still here. Now, do we still need advertisement? Absolutely. 
We want people to call 609-695-1300. That's what we want. And, and uh, let us advertise for you. Let us put your ministry out there uh, because we can. And if you can't afford it, I believe that's why God has kept me here for so long because I won't take people's money. Like I've had people call me and say, I only have a hundred dollars, Vini. And I will have to be honest and say, honey, I'll just be taking your hundred dollars because anything under 10 commercials won't benefit you. Mm -hmm. So we, we put a minimum on things and we put a quality to it. We did a little bit of rotation and I got to big up the staff. I got to big up our family because let, let mm. me tell you, Cairo was our morning person and it was very difficult for us to make the decision for her not to be our morning person, right? But we knew we needed that change and we put Professor Craig Hayes in the morning. Now, Cairo could have totally said, I'm never dealing with this station again, right? And it was bad communication. I won't say who the communication was with, but just know it was bad communication and it were hurt feelings. And like family, I sat down and talked to her and I said, no. And then we realized where the disconnect came. We realized where the issue was. And she decided not to leave. She decided to come back because she did leave for about two weeks. And then she was like, you know what, Vini? No, I, you know, I'm coming back. And that, that right there goes to the heart of why we have five stellars because we gel together. Then everybody else that's out there, they can hear that. They, they, they know that it's not fake. They hear when we say, thank you, Jesus, we mean it. It's not just words, right? And they, they can feel that I love for each other. I love for God. So that made them tune in. Plus adding Professor now as our program director, he did. Now, Ed was wonderful. I would never knock Ed. Ed was in that position for a long time. Um, but it became tiresome to him. He had too many other things on his plate. So when we put professor, professor was able to sit down and tweak and do things that we wanted. So now our personalities are great and our music is right behind it. So that's right there. And then the last component to what makes me be the way that I am is our WIMG family that listens because they call, they will one day I tried to be somebody else. God knows, right? And so I opened up the mic. 1300 WIMG. Music for the soul. I'm Vini. Those phone calls came in. They was like, what is wrong with you? Girl, are you, are you sick? What's wrong? I was like, but somebody told me I needed to change and da 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 da, da. and they said, oh, don't do that ever again. <laughs> like, you know, Vini, you know, Vini, I want to jump in here and add, and I'm glad you said that because um, when you had asked me to, 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 after coming on representing the IELTS organization with Karen Hernandez Brands and, and uh, the Spirit Walk program, and then you asking, hey, do you want to, you know, host, uh, you know, some, some shows? which led into Trenton 365. I remember saying to you like, I don't know how to do this. And your reaction was similar to what you just said, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. And I was like, well, and you were like, don't worry, I got you. And ever since then you have. And um, you know, this friendship, this relationship, this motherliness, this sisterliness, uh, siblingness that we have, is amazing, and it's helped me to um, grow into this this role, um, not only here but also in other avenues as well. Because it's given me an opportunity to shine, I'd like to say, and to reach a larger audience. <clears throat> and by reaching that larger audience, the intent, because it's a family, is to bring that back to our family. And I say that because as long as WIMG thirteen hundred is willing to have me on the air, I'm going to be on the air here. 
And I'm gonna be sharing as much as I can, creating a hub and providing an opportunity for people to experience the different things that I'm experiencing. And again, so publicly, I love you. I thank you so much for everything that you and Maggie and the whole family at WIMG 1300 has done for me. I would love to take the credit, but again, as I state, God does all. Like he listens, I'm listening to him. So when you guys are talking, uh, the Lord will say, grab them, let them become a host. Um, I know of another young lady and I'm, I'm taking that um back, but there was another young lady who, very unpolished, very unpolished. And well, I'm gonna tell her name because Donna doesn't mind, Donna Wellings. When the Lord said to me, ask her, I'm like, okay. And she was like, Vini, I'm not, no, I'm this, I'm that. I, da, 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 da. And I was like, no, you're not. And you're going to do this. And we're going to work through this. And through that, she was able to channel things and change. And, and that's because that was God. He was just like, grab her, tone a buck. She's another one. She talks a mile a minute. She'll tell you. Tona could say a hundred words in 20 seconds. She, <laughs> she talks so fast. And when he said, have Tona, I went to her and I didn't know that that was a desire of hers. So when I went to her, she was like, oh my God. The da -da -da -da. And, but it was God. You know, and there's a couple of others that you know that the Lord was like, ask, I want, I want them. And they may not still be here. Um, all of them may not still be hosting, but for the period that God needed, that's what they did. Like when we used to have Mayor Jackson, DA did that, but he was the perfect person to do that. Yep. And when Mayor Jackson was done, he actually moved. So, mm -hmm. you know so, what I mean? And, you know, Vinny, I think that that's the importance. And I want to make sure that we drill down. because I, I don't want to miss two people because okay. they, their feelings will be hurt. Uh, Yolanda, <laughs> yeah. yes. And I'm not about hurting people's feelings. Um, Yolanda is another one who, when I said, would you like to host? Like the Lord told me. And through that, I was able to give her the proper way. So she took that and then created her own, yeah. right? And then you also have um, Crystal Feliciano mm -hmm. who did the same thing. She was able to take what she learned here and created her own platform. Lisa Austin Granville was able to create their own platform. So it's not always that they're going to stay forever but I just believe when God tells me, he wants me to teach so that they can move out. Because I feel like if you can grow off of what I teach you and my knowledge I put in into you, I will never die. My pastors say that all the time. If I could teach you what I know, I'm going to teach you to the best of my ability because my position is not for me to always be better than you. I want to look up and see you do your own platform. That's the same with you. I wanted you to do your own platform. I encouraged it. When you they were looking for moderators, I'm like, call Jacques. Mm -hmm. Even Coco now who works with us, she started as an intern mm -hmm. and I'm study pushing her. Mm -hmm. She was just in Donna's play as a narrator. Why? Because <laughs> she did well, like this is what she wants. And whereas Donna may have been looking for me to do it, I know I heard Coco. So it's not for me to do what God is saying not to do. It's for me to produce people to shine. Mm -hmm. You know, and Vinny, I wanted to make sure that, uh, I know we're gonna be talking again in another segment about similar to this, but I wanna make sure that people understand the reasoning behind, we're trying to share this information, um, the personal relation, the connection, Everyone is talking about all kinds of forms of equality and social justice and things of that nature. What is happening and has been happening at WIMG 1300 as far as being a, an outlet, uh, an advertisement agency, all these different things for decades. 
is amazing to um, how this region moves forward. Um, I like to use this as an example. Many of the small businesses or businesses out there, nonprofit organizations are often sending their press releases and information to print media outlets where the information may not get published, the value isn't there, it's quite expensive and, and we all know that. In addition to that, the source of those publications oftentimes isn't what we want to be portraying. Let's just say mm -hmm. it like that. Here at WIMG 1300, you're going to get people, um, ambassadors who are going to be able to work with you to go out on location and to uh, discover these different things and share the information from the standpoint of the business, of the organization, and you're going to get exposure. We're saying this, and I'm saying this specifically um, to the folks who are Trenton 365 supporters, is to reach out to WIMG 1300 and consider being a member partner in some uh, capacity, whether it's you want to do something on a regular basis with your business or organization, or if you want to sponsor a community segment, there may be a community organization that doesn't have the ability to come on and pay for it, but you may be able to pay for them to do that. There's a lot of different things that we can do to support local media, local advertisement, and equity. And when I talk about equity, I'm talking about it um, for everyone who is in this region. Mm -hmm. WIMG 1300 is a five times stellar gospel music awards winner, five times. And for those of you who don't know what the stellar gospel music awards are, just think of them like the Grammys or the Oscars for the industry and for the gospel radio stations. And we've won five times right here in Trent, New Jersey. And again, when you have a conversation with someone at WIMG 1300, it's not going to be a call center somewhere. It's going to be someone who's local. And any of the funds that come through the organization, through the business, generally is going to go right back into the local economy. So if you have yes. an opportunity to participate um, um, by advertising, you're making your community announcements, any of those things, just give a call over to WIMG 1300. The telephone number is 609 Six nine five thirteen hundred, and just make sure you let Vini or whomever you speak to know that you heard about it over Trenton three sixty five. Now, Vini, before we we finish up here, um, <laughs> I want you to, to talk about some of the uh, programming that goes on at WIMG because there's many of folks who say, okay, it's a gospel station, but it's not just a, a music station. There's a lot that goes on here. And the programming is quite diverse when you think about how it's broken down per day. So can you just kind of go through the, the, the scheduling of the business of WIMG 1300 and share about how diverse we are? Well, the one thing which um, is the major change is we became more of an advocate for social injustice. Uh, and we had never done that before. Uh, and now for those of you that don't know, we're owned by a white woman, which is Maggie Gazzardo. And I'm saying that to say her whole staff is black. <laughs> her whole staff, except for our engineer, um, one of our um, engineers, he is white and, and the computer person that keep us up and running. But our day-to-day -day staff, everyone is black, right? And social justice had went rampant when that last administration was in office. And it took us, me and Maggie and the staff, uh, mainly Mr. Root, talking to her and talking through this because she didn't have a sounding board. She didn't understand. And we had to understand that she just didn't understand because it never hit her. Like the social injustice that we were used to on an everyday basis, she didn't think existed until stuff happened. Really, it wasn't until way after George Floyd and we kept reporting the other senseless murders that went on by the police. Um, and it took her a minute, not because she wasn't, sympathizing with us but she just didn't know she thought that maybe you could go to the newspaper so when she started realizing this is something that black people have been going through for not just one year but three thousand years like we've been going through this for a mighty long time um it then began to hit for her once we were able to say i, I said to her 
a story that happened to my sons when they were teenagers that hurt her that they had to go through that. Well, it hurt her because she loves my sons and she knows the character of my sons. So for them to be profile racially while my youngest was driving and the the troopers being nasty to them for absolutely no reason oddly enough one of the which is crazy one of the troopers were trying to talk to me but I guess I was going to be a DL sister like on the low right but they still because it was a part of their job they still harassed And it wasn't until he realized when they showed my uh, ID, my my not license, but insurance card, that he paid attention and he realized, oh my God, these, my sons play football with them. These are the Stansberry boys, but you already did what you would have done to a normal black child. And uh, when Maggie heard that story, it broke her heart because she then she then got it. She then was understanding that this wasn't something that we just started going through. So that was one of the things we do the root rundown where we talk about topics, um, ongoing topics. Of course, we do Trenton Talks where everybody can find out locally what's going on within the city. And now nationally, we do a portion of Trenton Talks where it's nothing but health. And I talked to Dr. Bonaparte. Uh, do we do one where it's nothing but political views? And now that Tanya Young Williams has opened up her new shop, um, she'll have more time to come back and we can talk politics again. We have ministries. A Sunday is our highest rating day because ministries are on all day long. But we have ministries that are great. And the one thing that you will catch on these ministries is they're not allowed to dog another ministry. So Baptists, you will not hear a Baptist talk about a Pentecostal, but they only going to preach the word. And all of our pastors on here are great about doing that. Uh, Then we have some that don't, some churches that really never have a ministry, but they purchase as a lot, like your church, Westminster. Uh, Another one I could think of is uh, Bishop Wilcox, where they always purchase as, so they may not have a ministry, but when they want something up, Darren will call me in a minute and say, Vini, Grace is having this, that, and the other. This is what we have. What can we have? Uh, So we, we have partners that will just partner with us with just commercials and then our PSAs we do do some PSAs but the PSAs normally are absolutely free health events and that that is on purpose because we want our community to be healthy so we absolutely 100% will do a free PSA for health Um, and then promotions We're here for commercials. We will help you. I will tell you the minimum package is $250 and that's the minimum. The more you spend, the more commercials you'll receive, which is better for your brand or whatever you're trying to get out. But we're honest with you. I've had people call me and say, like this one lady, her event was going to be um, way in New York. And I, I said to her, well, I would be taking your thousand dollars as much as we need it. I know that our people are not going to travel to New York and spend $65 on a ticket. That's a lot. Uh, and there's nothing included. So she was, she said, thank you. And went to another radio station. I'm not even going to mention a station uh, that was a little even further out than we are. And that radio station took her money and nobody from that area came. Yeah. She called um, me back and she said that. She was like, I thank you so much for not taking my money because I paid more. And I they, oh yeah, our people going to come and you can do this. And you, and she said, out of the people that they polled, not one person came from that area. <laughs> 
I was like, did anybody come from Trenton? She said, absolutely not. Everybody was up in the New Brunswick area. I had like three or four, but most of them came from Middlesex. You know, and being that, that's part of the importance of, of um, knowing the culture, knowing the subculture, and being connected to what's happening in the community. Um, there's a lot of times where people will parachute in and think that they can do something that they've done in another place, and it's just going to work because it's worked there. That's not in particular how that works here in Trenton and in the Mercer County region. I mean, I think that any of the other municipalities will tell you that getting people out to do things is a challenge. And mm -hmm. you need to have a connection where people feel comfortable, where people um, trust the information that they're getting. And WING 1300 has been a part of that. And, and I'm, I'm happy to say that Trenton 365 considers itself to be in that same space. Beanie, we're gonna be talking uh, again a little bit later on about some uh, things such as mental health and about uh, some other ways that people can get involved in what's happening at WIMG. But as always, it's a pleasure to chat with you. We'll talk in a little bit, okay? Okay. That's it folks, Trenton 365 over WIMG 1300. I'm Jacques Howard. Make sure you check out the website, trenton365.com. And in closing folks, it's always about justice, peace, and humility.